breaking news at 11. The U.S. Senate says a big fat no to the skinny health care repeal. The heated debate went late into the night on Capitol Hill. And it all came down to Senator John McCain's final decision. CBS2 political reporter Dave Bryan is live in the newsroom with this dramatic showdown. Dave. Pat and Rick, it was a lot of drama tonight. No question about that. Republican Senator John McCain voting no on this measure. And it's important to remember senators saw the full wording of the bill just a few hours before they voted on it. The, the eyes are 49. The nays are 51. The motion is not agreed to. The amendment is not agreed to. So, Mr. President, this is, uh, you know, clearly a disappointing moment. Uh, from skyrocketing costs uh, to plummeting choices and collapsing markets, our constituents have suffered through an awful lot under Obamacare. We thought they deserved better. It's time to turn the page. I would say to my dear friend, the majority leader, we are not celebrating. We are relieved that millions and millions of people who would have been so drastically hurt by the three proposals put forward will at least retain their health care. Now, the Republicans were so hopeful and expecting to win this vote tonight that Vice President Mike Pence was on the scene in the Senate chambers, and he was lobbying Senator John McCain and other holdouts, trying at the last minute to get them to change their votes. They only needed one more vote from either of the three Republicans who voted no on this. Only one of them was needed, and then the Vice President would have broken the tie. Now, the debate went on for hours tonight on the Senate floor. The measure was very controversial because it would have made really significant changes. It would have repealed the individual mandate and many of the other uh, pieces of, um, you know, the Obamacare uh, Affordable Care Act. Now, uh, insurance for at least eight years would have been a problem, and without those mandates, the prediction was for 20 percent increases in costs during those eight years. The Congressional Budget Office said that would have cost 16 million people their insurance over the next 10 years. But now it's back to the drawing board for the Republicans. Rick, Pat, back to you. All right.